Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you are new. I know it's been a long time since my last video which is something I always say at the beginning of these videos and I'm really sorry, I really wanted to be more active here but every time I say that something bad happens in my life that stops me from being able to film these videos for you guys which always makes me feel super guilty because on the one hand I want to post more but on the other it's technically impossible for me to do so but October is creeping around the corner and I am in the mood for filming something Halloween themed. This is my favorite time of the year. I love costumes, I love spooky stuff and I really wanted to do something like this. So I'm collaborating with a brand called Modakawa that sent me a bunch of things. Some are more vampire themed romantic goth outfits that you could possibly wear to go out. I would personally do so. And some are costumes that are more for special occasions, costume parties, photos or just dressing up for fun. So there's a bit of everything but I'm super excited for some of the things I'm going to show you today and you will probably know why as soon as you see them. Let's start with the first thing because I can't wait to show you. It is this skirt and I have it here. By the way, Modakawa gave me a discount code for you, it is Vesmadinia and you can get 20% off on your order if you get anything from them, which is great because yeah, 20% is a lot. Anyway, back to the skirt because this is what we want to talk about now. This is amazing. If you're not familiar with this design, this is from a brand called Blood Supply and Modakawa has a bunch of things from them. This is one of my favorite brands. The quality and the designs are amazing. The skirt is super beautiful. I got the dress from the same collection a long time ago and I'm super happy with it. So I wanted to get this skirt and now that it's here, I'm even <laughs> more in love. Probably one of the best gothic brands nowadays. So let's try this on and I will show you how it looks like. This is what the skirt looks like on me and hopefully you can see it well even if you cannot see my face. It is so, so beautiful. The fabric is one of my favorite things about this collection. It is brocade, but it's not the usual design. It has chains and roses. It's really, really beautiful. And then the lace underneath has these crosses. So it's like a very unique thing that you won't be seen in any other brand, basically. Also, one of my favorite things about it is that it comes with shorts underneath. They're made of thin. It's not satin, but it's similar material and it's really nice because that means that even if the skirt is really short, as you can probably tell right now, you're not going to be flashing anyone. This is something super useful and I'm so grateful that a lot of Asian brands include that with skirts because it's really, really convenient. This time I got a size small because this brand runs a little bit small, but it fits me perfectly. The back is slightly stretchy, but only that part, the rest is not. So make sure you check their size chart because they run a little bit small. I'm usually a size extra small on most other brands, but for blood supply, size small is usually perfect. In any case, they have really detailed size charts, so you can just check your actual measurements and compare to that. The next thing I want to show you is this Bolero jacket and it's made of lace. It's also from blood supply. They have a bunch of things from, from them in Molokawa. So if you're looking for a place to buy their stuff. This should be good with my discount code. I think you're gonna get a good price with 20% off. This is something I wanted to have for quite a while. So I'm gonna take off this, these gloves that are so big on me that keep falling. And I'm gonna put this on. I'm, I haven't tried this one yet. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be my size or not. I got a small again. I think this fits really nicely. You can close it here. It has like a choker like closure on the front. I really like all the details that Blood Supply includes with their items. They're really, really unique and really, really pretty. And they have so many vampire themed collections that there's always something from them that I want. The sleeves are perhaps a little long, but I will sort myself and I can also like make them slightly more puffy here and they fit perfectly and yeah I'm basically really happy with this. If you've never bought anything from Blood Supply and you don't want to rely only on the size chart which is really accurate so I recommend using that for reference but if you don't want to rely exclusively on that I would say this is a lot smaller than Killstar and it's Slightly smaller than doll scale. I'm usually an extra small for doll scale and a small from blood supply. And it's more or less the same as lip service. I'm not exactly sure if it's the same, but 
similar to lip service. I'm usually in between an extra small and a small, more towards the small on lip service. By the way, the top that I'm wearing is also available on Malakawa. I've had it for a long time, but I think it's still in stock, so I will leave the link as well in the description box down below, as well as the links for everything I try on today. So this would be the first look and I think it would be both perfect as low-key vampire costume but also as something you can use for a night out. Moving along we have the second outfit for today and it's this lovely dress. It's also from Blood Supply and this is what it looks like in real life. Their stuff is always really really high quality and really beautiful. By the way you can choose the dress with or without Gloves, but I always pick the compliments because you won't find something that's exactly exactly made from the same fabric as the dress So I think it's always worth it to spend a little bit more and get the whole set This is a dress with the sleeves. It's really really beautiful and very vampy Both this and the previous outfit are perfect if you want to dress up as a vampire because I would much rather buy something like this that you can use afterwards for something else then get a costume that's gonna look a lot cheaper. It's gonna cost you more or less the same, and you won't be able to use it as much. This is very versatile in the sense that if you add heavy vampire makeup, fake blood, and all that stuff, it's gonna look perfect. But if you wear something more like what I'm wearing right now, you can just wear it on night out. If if this is your style, of course, and it's not everyone's cup of tea. But for me, this is more or less what I look like if I'm dressing up to go out. Although I know you cannot see the full thing yet, it is one of those dresses that you can tie it here and make it shorter on the front and it's much longer on the back. You can tie this as long or as short as you want and it comes with this like red satin like material underneath. It's a little bit stretchy but not really stretchy and the top part is again a little bit stretchy because it's lace but I would say this Part in here the trim is not stretchy so be careful when you pick your size because it's perfect for me but like here it was a little bit tight maybe because I'm wearing a bra underneath however this one doesn't have cups or like padding so you are required to wear a bra underneath in any case just be careful with the size because as I said this one runs a little bit small anyway the sleeves are also perfect they are the same fabric as the dress which is always great you have something that matches perfectly i had to lace it myself but it's not something i'm so fond of but you just have to do it once and then that's it one last thing that i almost forgot to mention is that the sleeves are not stretchy at least not the lace string that's at the bottom of the red part so even if they're a little bit big for me and i have to tie the lace up part a bit more than i should I know there's not a lot of room here for a much bigger arm, so I'm not sure if buying a bigger dress size would give you bigger sleeves or not, so that's something to take into account and maybe ask if you're interested in the whole set. Now we're moving on to actual costumes, and although I'm much more fond of something like this, I wanted to get something more costuming to make this feel more Halloweenish and not just like any other vampire romantic haul, so I got this one which I have here, it's a bat costume. It looks like a romper just to be at home, but it's very cute and especially love the little ears here. So let's put this on and let's see what we think about it. To be honest, it looks a lot cuter than I was anticipating. I didn't think I was going to be such a big fan of it, but it looks really, really nice. I really, really like the wings, by the way. This is something you can only use for a costume, party, or, you know, to take photos, obviously. But I think it's really, really cute. That is what it looks like on the back. It's not too short in the sense that you will show your butt. I think those shorts are quite longish. I usually struggle so much with shorts because most of the ones I see are like this, and I hate that. So I think these ones are the perfect length, you won't be flashing anyone. The only problem I have with this costume is that the wingspan is not as big as it should. And you technically cannot lift your arms above this. Which is not the most convenient thing, so I have a slight problem with that. Make sure you do your makeup and hair before you put this on. All that stuff, it shouldn't be a problem because it's a costume and it's not something you're gonna wear like on a daily basis. All the time but yeah it's not the most convenient thing because it's a little hard to touch your head with it other than that I'm really happy with it I love that 
it has like some bones of course because this was bent during shipping they are like a little bit bent to the inside so I would have to shake them again so that they're more to the outside I don't think it's gonna be a problem or too difficult but it's gonna take a little bit of time maybe we'll live in this somewhere where I can like force that shape on them but other than that I really really like it especially the little ears and the furry part in here which I think looks pretty cute with this wig in particular regarding sizing I think I picked the size small definitely the smallest they have available but I will leave all the info together with the links to everything in the description box down below and my discount code with Space Medina to get 20% off and yeah, if you want to check any of the info, just look down below because I always include the information for all the items so it fits nicely, it's not super tight, it's comfortable, the fabric it's not really stretchy but it has a tiny bit of stretch and it's really really cute other than the wingspan being way too small for me to lift my arms we finally reached the last item for today and it's something really out of character for me which is this made costume never had one and thought this one was pretty cute I have it here, this is of course the dress, it comes with a lot of accessories but yeah, I couldn't hold everything in my hands at the same time I'm gonna put it on, see how it fits and what I think about it I put the dress on so you could see it definitely my size, I think it was a size small this part is stretchy and then it closes with a zipper on the back that goes all the way down to here so it's very easy to put on and take off this part is stretchy so I could probably lower it a little bit and it would look a little bit better I think it's a little bit long, I don't know if you can see it but it's almost knee length and I would rather have it something like this like not too short but not that long but I couldn't find anything that I really liked that was a little shorter now we have the apron which is like crossed on the back you can tie it here and make it as tight as you want on your waist so I actually have problems with things being too loose around my waist but I don't have this problem with this one because I can tie it as much as I want I think it's a really cute design, more cute than sexy if that makes sense which is more or less what I was looking for because I didn't want it to be overly sexy like lingerie and something like that now it also has like a choker but unfortunately it's way too big for me so I'm closing it somewhere I shouldn't just so you can get an idea otherwise it would be like huge for me. I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to go in here but it's way too big for me to wear it here so I just decided to improvise. It also comes with these garters but since the dress is so long on me there's no way you can see them unless I put them around my knees which I think would look very weird so unless you're very tall and this is gonna be shorter on you I don't think they're very useful because they're not gonna be visible but if you're tall or if you're a guy because I personally would like this much more on a guy than a girl If you're a guy, this is probably gonna be a lot better And this is gonna show because you would probably be much taller than me This is what all the pieces would look like together I think it's real nice, but again I think this specific design would suit a guy much better Because it's meant for someone taller than me Or at least I would personally like it more on someone taller Because then it would let you see the garter is better and all that stuff Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's cute and not too unnecessarily sexy. I love sexy stuff a lot, but sometimes you get bored of it and you want something a little bit different. I really like it. I love that it comes with a lot of accessories and I think it's really cute. Regarding quality, I think it's pretty nice, much better than most of the costumes I've seen and it wasn't too expensive, so I think it's a really, really nice if this is something you're looking for. That was everything for the first Halloween video of the year. I hope this was a nice start to spooky season. I really liked everything I tried on today, but my favorite item was the first skirt. I'm in love with it and I can't wait to have a chance to wear it to go out because it's really really beautiful and comfortable at the same time Perhaps my least favorite thing was the bat costume but only because it was difficult to lift my arms with it Other than that I think everything was amazing and I'm so happy and grateful that Malakawa sent me all these things to try on and review for you guys because I'm really really happy with them If you liked any of the things I showed you today or you want to check out their store don't forget that you can use my discount code VESMARTINIA to get 20% off on their site and I will leave all the links in the description box together with sizes Now some final thoughts Shipping to Spain was really fast, more or less 10 days and if you're not from the European Union this does not apply to you but I didn't have to pay customs so 
that's something to keep in mind because sometimes you buy from somewhere that's cheaper but then you have to pay a lot once you get the package. I didn't have any problems, this is like the second or third time I get something from Molokawa. So I believe they sent everything with customs paid for in advance from the European Union only. So if you're from any other country, please ignore that because the system will be completely different. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you like the outfits that I picked for today. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would make me really happy. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!